Major League Baseball will die when old people die? <laughs> Bartolo. 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 Yo, what is up, Yankees fans? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Make sure you share that link with your friends, colleagues, family, whatever, your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever. Whatever, if you're like that Star Wars character who is, can I say that word, pansexual, who likes robots, share it with your robot friends as well. Yankees fans, let's talk about Miguel Landujar. Miguel is here to stay. Miguel is basically doing what the Yankees thought Brandon Drury would do. Drury... The Yankees liked him for the simple fact that he hit a whole bunch of doubles. And or is a doubles machine. As you saw, he hit a double for the game-winning run yesterday when Glaber Torres singled him in for the walk-off. That wouldn't have obviously happened if Miguel Andahor wasn't just a machine hitting doubles. Brandon Jury obviously has become trade bait, like you heard the Samanetti source say. Sure, Brandon Jury supposedly is great, but um, he's good trade bait as well, folks. And Andahor is here to stay like Labor Torres is here to stay long term. I mean, the Yankees are pretty dumb if they are considering trading Andahor. And some people are saying that Miguel Andahor can possibly make the All-Star team, folks. I mean, really, just check out his stats. Labor Torres is obviously going to make the All-Star as well. So with the trade deadline just a month away, does Brandy Drury make an appearance with the Yankees on the Major League level again? I don't know. I highly doubt it at this point. And other people are talking about Clint Frazier. He's just burning up uh, AAA. They're saying dump Hicks, DFA Hicks, and give Clint Frazier a chance. But the only problem with that, folks, I agree with that. I think Clint Frazier should be replacing uh, Hicks at this point. But the problem with that, folks, is that Clint Frazier is obviously going to be a goner. Teams are going to want Clint Frazier come deadline. This is why I keep saying and preaching, hey, see what you have in the minor league system. And if you guys were paying attention, my previous videos clearly state the Yankees' defense is poor. You saw five errors yesterday. CeCe Zabathia is struggling. In his last four starts, he has allowed over 16 earned runs. Okay, And people were talking about, what are you talking about? CC Sabathia has been great. Yeah, great for the first, what, six starts? And now he's as inconsistent as Sonny Gray and Tanaka. Okay? Like I said, I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. I'm not going to lie to you guys. If I think the Yankees are World Series contenders or not, and as of now, they are not. Their starting pitching is horrible. It's inconsistent. The Yankees were lucky to get that one yesterday. CC Sabathia and the defense, if you don't have that, then you can't say the Yankees are going to compete with the Red Sox for first place. You just can't say it. So I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. I can't say, hey, yeah, the Yankees are like the best team on the planet, which is completely false when you check out how their starting pitching has been. It's not the same as two weeks. So people have been saying I'm inconsistent with my reporting. What are you talking about? It's highly accurate if you actually study what I'm talking about. If you actually look at the stats and how these players are performing. So Yankees fans, that's all I got for you right now. Do you think the Yankees should replace six with Frazier? Do you think Andahar is here to stay? Do you think he's an all-star? Leave your opinions in the comment section below. And like always, this has been Felix from L1News.com. Share, like, and subscribe. I will check you out next time.